Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how can you install your SQL Server Management Studio in your machine as well as uh, get your uh, SQL Server set up up and running so that you can connect your local host and you can install your AdventureWorks uh, Data Warehouse uh, database like we've seen in the previous video and then you can play around with your SQL, right? So let's get it started. Uh, first things first, uh, in your laptop, make sure you have a good amount of uh, RAM speed and uh, IFA processor like that. Otherwise, it's uh, it's going to get uh, pretty slow as you work on like uh, heavier uh, data sets and all. Uh, but anyways, uh, go to Google, search for SQL Server Management Studio, right? As soon as you uh, hit that, it goes to the, uh, this is the result you'll get. Then you get uh, download SQL Server Management Studio from the Microsoft itself click that uh, go inside yes and then uh, you have to download two things here right first thing is the management studio itself right so uh, that's what you see here so this one here so I have the 17.7 version there is I think uh, now if you download it right now I think you have the 18.6 uh, right now so yeah so if you just uh, just need to say dot or localhost it's fine go inside yeah so this is basically your sql server management studio what you see here right so sql server management studio this is what we get this is what you're gonna get installed when you download this right so you have to download this one and then when you go here click the download sql server and then you can download the I think one of these I think I, sh I will go for the developer edition so you can download this one download now and then uh, once you have them downloaded I'll show you guys how to install them one by one first let's install the management studio uh, I mean this guy here Where is the one? yeah this one here and then let's come back to the SQL server uh, this one later to uh, open the download folder and uh, open the SSMS download uh, file, uh, it's gonna ask you to install this. So you can just go ahead and install this. I, uh, it's a very pretty straightforward, I guess. So I, I have already installed it, so I'm not gonna go ahead and install this, but please go ahead and install this. And then you should have the management studio with you. So once this is all done, right? The next step we're gonna do is uh, go with the SQL Server installation now i'm going to show you guys how to install the sql server itself right so the sql server management studio it is just a studio it's just a front end for you to work with right the sql server management server is an actual uh, server engine that you're going to install in your local machine right so that that also i'm going to show so what are you going to do here is uh, download this file which i already have uh, already see, see uh, we have already seen that uh, so it's going to ask for basic custom and that's and uh, and then um, and then put a lo installation location here and then as soon as you have a location just uh, use a program files location I guess whatever it's gonna say go ahead and install this and then uh, once uh, this is all installed so you have your management studio and then now we have installed the SQL server uh, the uh, engine itself so now there's another step I'm going to show you guys, which is really important for you to use your local host. I'll show you in a bit. So finish off your installation and then I'll see you. So once you have installed your uh, SQL Server Management Studio, this one, and then once you install your SQL Server, what you have to do is search for services in your, uh, you know, in your uh, Windows and then go to the services, right? I already have them open uh, so yeah same thing and when you search for uh, MS SQL Server you're going to get this SQL Server MS SQL Server right so once you install this is only you will have this so make sure this is running so right click hit run or you can use these uh, you know uh, run stop buttons here so make sure this is running only if this is running when you go to your uh, you know when you open your SQL Server Management Studio uh, after it's all installed right so uh, if you hit connect it's gonna connect so now, now that um, uh, if you have this uh, if you wanted to connect to the local host right so either dot or local host here so once you have this only when the services are running 
right only if this in running con running uh, status you might be able to go inside right because that is an engine that should be able to process whatever data uh, operation that you're going to do so make sure that is running and then you're good to go right so uh, i have also installed adventure works data warehouse database uh, so it has all the sample tables pre-populated right uh, data warehouse database fact tables dimension tables so you can play around with the data without have without having the need to you know populate the data you know worrying about all those stuff so feel free to watch the other video that i have put uh, for adventure works data warehouse database uh, and uh, yeah um, have fun with your skills server guys thank you i'll see you in a different video